Hi, when we're finishing our Emacs solid body restorations, it's a similar process that I use when I'm doing full crowns. I'm gonna cut off the sprue. In many ways, the solid body abutment crown is a little easier. You wanna fit it on the tie base, and there's several strategic zones you wanna stay away from, particularly right there at that margin where it fits onto the tie base. You gotta really be careful in that area in both shaping and later on. You don't wanna get any glaze below that margin on the inner surface because it won't seat on the tie base. It's pretty easy to avoid that. Quite often you can just polish the area that's right next to the tie base and not worry about putting glaze down there. The only reason I'm gonna put glaze in that subgingival area as it emerges out of that soft tissue is if I need to tone it down and give it some warm color, particularly in the molar area. This case that you see right now, we tone down that cervical area as it emerges out of that soft tissue to get that bland and the natural look there in a the cervical area. But other than that, we don't need to really add glaze or any color subgingival where you're not gonna see it on the tie base platform interface. So when you're finishing these, I go through this process. I'm gonna cut the sprue off. I'll refine my aesthetic morphology occlusally and externally on molars and premolars. There's those little you know, tertiary and that's surface texture. And then you have those primary lobing grooves around those cuffs, those labial cuffs to make them look really nice. And then we'll finish it, get it ready for glaze. When I glaze it, I'm gonna follow the same principles as I would for a traditional crown. I'm gonna add my glaze posteriorly and then surface mix in some colors. Now I call it tinting. Even though we're using stains, stains, you're thinking of color crane, you add the color. I think of tinting more as watercolor. If you're adding stain into your glaze, you wanna be very subtle with it, less is more. If you need more saturation, you're just gonna have to fire it a few more times. Quite often we can put glaze and stain in together even if I'm doing multiple firings, as long as I keep that thin, it won't uh, look as blotchy. It'll be a little more smooth transition, so when I'm adding color, I don't want to get blotchiness. Blotchiness comes from too much saturation of the color at one time. So if you have those unique situations where you're really having to do some creative coloration on your restorations, do multiple firings. Have that in mind before you schedule the patient if it's a one appointment deal, and that way you can get the best results. To me, CEREC is about outcome. CEREC does not rule my day. I do understand CEREC and I know how it works. It's kind of like a relationship. You have to honor the boundaries because they dictate how you move, but the final outcome of whatever you're gonna do is dictated by your expectations, and we schedule accordingly. So let's have some fun finishing down these solid body abutment crowns.